in any sport. Whether it's football, basketball, or as in our case, boxing, there are certain rules that athletes must follow. Some commissions must ensure that these rules are respected. But what happens if you bring together a corrupt trainer, an average boxer, and a budding talent at the boxing ring in one evening while adding the negligence of the sports commission and a great financial benefit for one of the parties? And the result will be a fight, after which no one will become the same and events that will be remembered for a very long time. But let's start in order. Billy Collins Jr. was born in Tennessee, and from an early age, his fate was decided because his father was a pro boxer. So Billy, under his guidance, began to master the language of boxing. And now, Billy, for 21 years, he's an excellent boxer with a great future and has 14 victories in the pro with 11 knockouts. The public loves him very much and calls him Irish. This is the nickname Billy received. He's moving towards a fight for the champion belt, but on June 16th of 83, Luis Resto, a Puerto Rican, two-time Golden Glove champion and a very strong middleman with ambitions, becomes on his way. But Resto was not the main character in this drama, but his mentor, Panama Lewis, who had a reputation as a very tough coach and was ready for a lot to win his players. Therefore, there were rumors that Lewis mixed his boxers with asthma medicine into the water, and it helped them like doping, but they could not prove anything. In this fight, Billy was considered the favorite, and he should have passed the Puerto Rican without any problems. But Panama Lewis had a different opinion. The fight began, and Resto began hunting for the head of the Irish, who did not expect such active resistance from the enemy. As the meeting progresses from round to round, the Puerto Rican's advantage increases, who drinking a miracle drink from Panama Lewis delivers hard blows to Billy's head. The fight was 10 rounds, and in the second half of the meeting, everything began to look like beating young Billy, whose face was beginning to swell from many punches, but he was not going to give up and fought to the end. All 10 rounds were finished, and Luis Resto, at the end of the fight, came up to hug Billy. The father of the defeated Irish took advantage of the moment to touch Resto's glove, after which he began to shout and call for the commission as the glove was almost without padding. After some commotion, Michael Buffer announced Resto's victory by unanimous decision, and the boxers retreated to the area below the podium. The commission entered Resto's locker room and took his gloves as evidence, and after three weeks, all three were brought before the commission as the culprit. The fight received the status as not taken place, the trainer and the boxer received lifelong disqualifications, and then the trial began. In 1996, that is, after three years, the battlefield Panama Lewis and Luis Resto were sentenced to two and a half years in prison and their accomplice died under unknown circumstances, while he changed his testimony several times, claiming that he saw Panama Lewis enter the toilet with those gloves. As for Billy Collins Jr., then after this carnage, he received a serious eye injury and ended his boxing career. Nine months after this ill-fated evening, Billy Collins Jr. died in a car accident, and many believe that it was suicide, since he could not cope with the end of his career he began to drink and drowned in the deepest depression. But there is another opinion in which his father is partly to blame, who forbade Billy from boxing because he wanted to sue the sports commission for $65 million due to the negligence that evening. But the money was never obtained because the jury could not make a verdict for vague wording of the rules governing the activities of the commission's inspectors. Upon his release from prison, Luis Resto was already left without a family that abandoned him, without a home and boxing, and found shelter in the hall of the boxing basement where he trained. 
but he never entered the ring anymore. 25 years later, Resto still admitted that he knew about the gloves and about Panama's drink, and the toughest thing, it seems, is that his bandages were soaked in plaster and had already hardened by the time of the battle. So he beat with two plastered sledgehammers, nothing unsuspecting Billy, and also confessed that a very large sum of money of one major drug dealer was at stake in this fight, to whom Panama Lewis promised that his ward would make an upset and win the fight. So Resto, by his own admission, went into this duel to destroy Billy. After all, this merchant's big money was at stake. This is a story that happened in the 1980s in the world of boxing, and it only shows how some can lose their human appearance when they have only money and profit in their minds. And the saddest thing is that in such stories, innocent people always suffer first, just like in our case of speaking about 21-year-old boxer Billy Collins Jr. Thank you for your attention in watching this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to press the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and of course, leave your comments. See you in the ring.